Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, this is another unboxing that I'm doing. I have, it's just something I wanted to do, I guess. Just something for some extra content. Besides, you know, gameplays and pregnancy updates or anything other than between or challenges and all that stuff like that. We got challenges planned. We got all kinds of stuff planned still. So, stay tuned for all that. Leave a like, subscribe. Comment down what you want to see next on the channel. More challenges, perhaps. More weird, healthy drink combos, stuff like that. So, leave a like, share, hit the notification bell for more, and, um, you know, just share it around for people to see. Anyways, let's get on with the video. I'm unboxing the Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, Dino Masters Fury Structure Deck. Reloaded. So... The deck um, comes with a uh, card mat you can put on, so you don't have to just put it on the floor. Just you can um, play on this. It'll show you. There's updated rules to Yu-Gi-Oh, like stuff that you don't pendulum summoning and all kinds of other stuff. But look how cool this is for those Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there. It's dinosaur right in the middle, but it's got. Pendulum summoning, all that other stuff on there, and you got like the extra deck zone, field zone, all that stuff like that, graveyard, all that. But anyways, that's pretty cool. But this deck has, see, it has. I was reading. Where did I last read that at? It's for six years and up. If you haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh before, and if you've been interested in playing, you can get yourself a structure deck at Walmart or offline, whether you want to buy it on there or not. But this structure deck includes 36 common cards, 2 ultra rare cards, 3 super rare cards, 1 token card, and 1 double sided deluxe game mat. Dueling guide with tips to vanquish your foes. That's what it says. See, the. I didn't even read that part in there, but the, there's a dueling guide on there teaching you how to duel, how to summon different things on there, and all that. And, um. This is the deck. It's also. Coated in plastic, so here we go. I'm not gonna go through all of it, I'm just gonna show you on camera what they look like because I don't want to go through it all because I don't know how much space my phone has, and I'm, that's what I'm recording off of. But uh, we did get that new vlogging set if you guys haven't seen that yet. But it is something we're gonna show in another video probably a vlogging video, or maybe that ghost town video we're gonna be doing, or maybe um. The video that my friend uh, Kobe wants me to do, dressing like a hot dog and going to Kroger's. I might do that, I don't know. Depends. But, first off we got this little guy. His name is... I'm not even going to pronounce that. And this one is Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, which is a pretty good card. Shiny too. Soul Eating Over Raptor. And Lost World, which is a field spell for dinosaurs. Survival's End and Megalomasher X. 2000 attack and zero defense. Good attack, bad defense. Saber Source, good attack, bad defense. 1900 though. Another Megalomasher and another Saber Source. We've got Superconductor Tyranno, which is you know a little bit weaker than the you know ultimate one, but it does pretty good. Its effect is you know you can you know I think it's like tribute a card, do a thousand damage, but it can attack that turn so. That's that one. And then you got Ultimate Tyranno. This thing um, can attack all monsters your opponent controls once per t once each. And during your battle phase, if you control an Ultimate Tyranno, that can attack monsters other than Ultimate Tyranno cannot attack. So when it does that, it can't. No other monsters on your field can attack besides that. And then you got Super Ancient Dino Beast. Tribute summon this card in face of attack position by tributing one dinosaur monster. When a dinosaur type monster is special summoned from the graveyard, except during the damage step, while this monster is on the field, you can draw one card. I'm not going to read them all, I'm just reading the ones that I kind of like. And you got Sauropod Brachian, which is pretty good. Turn on Infinity. The original attack of, of this card is number of banished dinosaur type monsters. With a thousand. You got good combos on the dinosaur deck with this one. I love this card. It really is a good dinosaur. Not only. Is it a very powerful card? It's a four-star monster, so you can just play it out right. It's pretty good. Then you got Black Brachios, which can turn you know your opponent's monsters into fence mode. Then Miracle Jurassic Egg. I think it lets you play dinosaur monsters. 
And then you got Gilosaurus, special summoning. Baby Sarasaurus, special summoning. Michelinosaurus, evil, Salam evil swarm salamandra. Of the twice per turn, you can banish one monster from your graveyard. This turn gains 300 tech to the end phase. So that means you can gain 600 points if you have, you know, enough monsters. Then you got Stego Cyber. Triforosops. Skelosaurus. Chewbone. And then Rescue Rabbit. And then Fossil Dig, which can, you know, add a monster six star or lower to your hand. Big Evolution Peel. And then Twin Twisters. Good card to get rid of traps and spells. And then a bunch of variety of other cards. A uh, Barrel from a Different Dimension. Swords of Conceal and Light. Painful Decision. Unexpected Die is a pretty good card. Terraforming brings out a filled card to your hand and you can play it after that. And then Survival of Fittest, which is a pretty good dinosaur card. Fossil Excavation is pretty good for any dinosaur deck. Extinction on Schedule. Dinosaur included deck. Then you got Ojama Trio, Nightmare uh, Archfiends, and Quaking Mirror Force. Let me show that again. Quaking Mirror Force. And Grand Horn of Heaven. And then Secret Blast. But then you got this uh, Drag, 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 I can't pronounce Drag, Drag token that they said they had in the thing. So it's just like a bunch of eggs. Then you got these little cards that are meaningless because they're just like I don't know what these are for I guess you can use them as tokens I guess I don't know anyways I hope you guys enjoyed that little <clears throat> unboxing of this cards and stuff like that I actually build decks all the time and just collect cards just for the heck of it and then I play sometimes but not much at all um I used to play a lot I've been playing since I was four so I'm gonna be doing some more Yu-Gi-Oh content on the channel like this every now and then Hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave a like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Share around. And if you want more of this, comment down. Let me know. Say yes, no, whatever. Tell me what you want. But if you want to see more weird uh, healthy drink combos and stuff like that, leave me a comment on here, a like. Five comments and five likes. No, just five likes. Just five likes. Just leave five likes on this video and it'll be good. So it lets me continue doing this. And plus, if you want me to do weird healthy drink combos. And leave me comments what you want to what combo drink should we drink? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. God bless.